Hey Tool Talk, thanks for checking in today. I've got something in the kitchen we're whipping up for you guys. It is the RD246, ARB's newest offering. Stay tuned, uh, I'm gonna talk a lot about this thing today. Okay Tool Talk, I thought uh, between uh, takes and between installing the stuff into the axle, I would do an unboxing video of the RD246. This is the, like, the newest offering from ARB, it's their newest locker. This is a 35 spline Dana 44 super um, carrier, super locker, and I thought I'd do an unboxing video for you. So there it is, and all this gorgeousness. I hate to put that in a differential and then have to cover it up. But we are heating the ring gear up right now, and we're going to put we're heating it up to 300 degrees for about 40, 40, 45 minutes, and then it'll slide down on here, and we'll put the bolt in just to kind of line it up, and then. We'll torque all those later. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is if you notice this, this is uh, from my previous video on the bearings and on Timken bearings. Uh, this is the very bearing that I was in that video. This is also the one that's going to go onto the larger side of the housing after we put on this seal. These are Vinton seals, and this is the ARB's air locker actuator. So this will get pressed down on. I don't have it greased right now. But that'll get pushed down on and then the bearings will go down on the housing like this. This is also the stock size bearing and this locker will work with the Dana 220 and Dana 210. Um, in the Jeep Gladiator that means for the uh, ARBs uh, that are offering is for both the Sport and the Rubicon. So as long as you have the right axle shaft length and the 35 splines that you have to get anyway, um, this will work for a Rubicon. You can take your Rubicon to the next level. I'm taking my Sport to the next level. That's why I bought the Sport rather than buy a locked Rubicon because I was already going to put lockers in it anyway. So I saved myself some money, but you guys who have Rubicons, you can also upgrade to this and give your rear axle some real meat. And you've seen maybe in my other videos, I'll, I'll include some pictures of the new axle shafts that are sitting out in the garage. And once this all gets assembled, we'll run our airline to the uh, ARB air pump under the hood. And this also has some really cool, um, really cool hardware. All right, this is the really neat thing about the new ARBs. There's some new hardware in here that gives you, uh, if you've done brakes before, there's something called a banjo bolt in here. There's a washer, a crush washer, and a banjo bolt. This piece bolts into your Dana 44 and gives you the strength and stability to hold all of it together. So then it doesn't walk and wander around inside the diff and it protects the, the uh, copper line inside there. And if you watch my previous video, um, I've already drilled a hole in the housing and so I've done that for the rear as well. There's two little rubber seals. This goes into the bulkhead fitting that you run with a, a quarter inch NPT. So there's a couple of neat little things in here. I just want to show you guys when you assemble them. So this is really what I think ARB's worked on lately. They've come up with a new way of, of assembling the hardware. So you have your bulkhead fitting. So once you do the quarter inch hole inside your diff, this then gets taped or uh, sealed with uh, the um, uh, with any kind of sealant you want. I'm, I'm gonna use uh, Teflon tape. And then this is the banjo bolt. You might see these in brake systems. They now give you this with in a, crush, uh, a crush washer. And this goes on to the locker under the hood where the air pump will send air to the line. So it goes from here out of the air pump into this line all the way down your chassis, down into this system. This will be screwed into your axle once you do the quarter inch NPT and the 7 16th a hole. And once you draw all that, you stick that in there with some Teflon tape. You now have, um, you'll put in these small washers that will crush down on top of the copper tube coming out and then you can either go straight line in so this this black line goes directly into here or you can do what I think is really cool you kind of leave that off to the side you can do the banjo bolt which is what uh, you'll see on a break you'll throw this down in there and you'll put your crush your crush uh, washer on there and it gives you that air system completely sealed up and you can then spin it, pivot 90 degrees off the axle. That's never been available before. So this is ARB's newest offering for Jeep uh, or for any vehicle in that matter. It's 35 splines, super, super duty. And it's uh, for the Jeep JL and Jeep 
Gladiator. Uh, so that's about all I really have here to show you. I think the hardware in this was really neat. I think it's it's a uh, it's very um, thorough in how they set this axle up. We have it, all of these great uh, pieces, the engineered hardware that holds all this together once we get it all pressed on there. And there's some other pieces in here for the bulkhead fitting to make sure all your seals are good, they're copper. You have washers that, uh, sorry, these are spacers that go between the, the differential and the actual housing. That way you get your, your preload set up so you have the larger ones and the smaller ones for the new Advantech axles. You can't get those wrong because they give us different uh, size bearings on each side. And then this is the really cool piece. This is a, I have two of these now. You have one for the front and one for the rear. It's a electromechanical solenoid and actuator. So there'll be air pumping into it from your from your pump and it'll be pumped to 100 PSI and uh, give or take. And then your switch that's in your dash. Uh, if you look at one of my previous videos, I've already installed these and showed you guys how to install custom switches in your Jeep J, a JT or JL. And this is the solenoid that that operates. So once you hit the switch, you'll hear the pump come on and vibrate and then you'll, see, you'll hear a click. This opens up and sends air down the line, down this line, nylon line. They made it thicker also for the previous generations. You saw blue line, this is a thicker black one. It goes through the hardware that we just showed you, right here, goes in there. Then it enters this tube, it goes inside this tube, and then into this actuator. And what's happening here is that inside this actuator is a little tiny pinhole right there and so as this as the diff spinning it keeps air inside this little crevice as the diff spinning and the, and the grease is keeping these vent and seals from burning up and then it actuates inside a little tiny hole on the housing inside the bearing so now the air pressure line is inside the bearing instead of being on the outside where previously it was mounted like this and the air hole would be up here and the bearing would go all the way down this could get damaged and moved around what they've done is they put the air system in this little hole here and these holes line up. If you look, there's a the little hole and there's a little hole. When you press to fit this on and grease it, it'll sit down on there. It's not quite greasy enough. It'll spin down on. I really don't want to do this kind of dry, but we'll see if it gets on there. So the seals are not greasy, so they're not going to let me go on there. But these holes will line up. At any given point, the air will travel around this circle and then push air at 100. I think the, it calls for 85 PSI, but I think the pump does 100. It'll push air into here, and you'll hear a click inside the locker. And I went outside and tested it. Uh, it did hear a, a nice click, and then it'll lock both these shafts up inside here. At, and they're, they're very large, 35 spline shafts. That going here and it locks it and then you get 100% full rotational force. So you've got the strength of a Dana 44 all the way up to 6,000 foot-pounds. Uh, that's as big as a Dana 60 with the new locker and axles and you're getting a bulletproof uh, uh, differential out of the whole situation. So uh, this is a very affordable way other than doing other than doing uh, a Dana 60 under the Jeep. This is still um, a semi-float where the axles are using um, their own weight to the weight of the Jeep is sitting on the axles themselves and the set 80 bearings that uh, I will also show you in this video. And the, um, I just want to get a real quick unboxing of the newest offering from ARB. I think this thing is amazingly well made. Um, ARB is just hard to beat. Their warranty is incredible. And I just wanted to uh, share this with you guys. I was really excited to, to have it here at the house. And um, I know I'm working in my kitchen, but I think that's kind of some of the fun is that this is probably one of the cleanest places in the house that we have. So uh, we know we're not getting any debris in there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks guys again, subscribe and like and follow me. And we will uh, eventually get this into the truck with the Super 35 uh, spline shafts and we'll, we'll build up our, our Super Dana 44. Uh, that is an exclusive. I think I am the only one that has any content on that, and that's not to brag, but I'm trying to show you guys that anybody can do this, and um, I think you'll have uh, a lot of fun doing it and building it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Thanks. Um, thank you for watching, and thanks to my wife.
for allowing me to mess with her kitchen. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Tooltalk. All right, guys, that's it. Stay tuned, we're gonna install this thing.